so today we are going to make this stair and I have already made a base for this stair and uh, the thing if you want to make this base I have another tutorial that I did uh, months before where I made a similar tag and uh, in that I have done a tutorial and on how to make the base so I'll be uh, be putting link in the description box so if you want to follow that uh, you can find the link below so the thing is main thing about this tag is I will be using all most of my uh, leftover paper pads uh, so we all do many craft projects and we have many paper like our left out papers uh, papers in our stash and we just keep thinking like how to make use like good use of them so I just thought like I will start making tags or some greeting cards with my leftover uh, paper collection uh, and I do have the one of this uh, leftover piece this is from uh, blue fun studios I don't remember exactly what collection it is but it's such a beautiful uh, like you know door kind of thing like um, what is arch kind of thing I thought I'll and it it has perfect shape like a tag so I thought like I can make use of this piece to make my tag and one more thing is I will be making uh, this tag in the form of like you know picture uh, storage tag so you can like albums uh, we can put many pictures in not maybe at least three four pictures in on one side and some few more on the back side so it is going to be on both sides like back and forth so first we'll start with the front side uh, as i said uh, and since this has a, like you know dark green color with the black background i i'm using this black car stock uh, to cover the base for the uh, for my tag and uh, I will let you know actually basic uh, dimensions for this tag so it is around five five and a half five and a half to uh, nine inches in size and this area is around this slanted area is around one and a half inch so in total the square area we are getting is around seven and a half inches okay so this will be the perfect spot to put our uh, four by six uh, pictures so let's get started so i have this space and i will be making um, the front for this um, tag okay so as i said uh, for this uh, since this is five and five and a half inches inside I need at least four and a half inches or maybe no I think yeah four and a half inches should be fine because I have something else to put on um, so just to make so this is like let me see how much is this this is four inches so maybe yeah four and quarter on this side so let's see one distance on both the sides so and now i will Major four and a half inches. Okay. 
then or around here I will be cutting let's see this is nine and what we have is so maybe I will just trim off so seven and a half inches so I have cut this space into four and a half inches by seven and a half inches okay and then one more thing I'll be doing is I just want to give a tag shape so I'm just going to cut this around here. So let me take the measurement. So maybe three four inches on this side, and again three four inches on the other side. And for this, uh, maybe. So this is, I'll be putting half inches on both sides. So, yeah, it's very difficult to see the lines. I will give you a close look once I'm done with this marking. Not realize that you cannot see. Okay. So if you can see, I made this lines over here. Okay. And then This gives like a tag shape. And it will go perfect over here. Okay. Um, okay, now I am going to take the white cardstock. Uh, so again, if you have low left over piece, you can use uh, that. Um, so for white cardstock, I am going to cut this 11 inch side. Uh, around four and three fourth okay. and then I'm going to just glue this tag on this Now I have put glue on all sides and I am going to place this white cardstock evenly like leaving even space from all three sides and if you want you can use score tape as well like if you are comfortable using score tape you can use score tape as well I always like to use this tacky glue because if in case if you feel that they are not even sizes, oh sorry, sides left on other side uh, from all sides. You can just you know manipulate easily. It's ready. So, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to put glue on these two sides. small line over here okay. I'm just going to put it on top here okay So 
it will be ready. So beautiful. It's looking beautiful. Okay, so that way we will have let me get the cardstock. Let me see. We will have space here in between. Okay. And this space we can use to make more photo mats and we can tuck them in. So we can put a nice picture here with this nice arch around it and um, we'll make two more photo mats that will go on the back side of this beautiful paper. Okay. Okay, now we are going to take black cardstock and we are going to cut two pieces of uh, five and a half by six and a half. Okay, so let's start with our first one. I think it will be a five and a half so that I can make use of this five and a half and since this is 11 inches, this is five and a half, and six and a half. But, yeah. six and a half and I will need to cut more of this for before that let's see how they are what we are going to do so this piece will go Sorry, we need two pieces of five inches by six and a half inches. Okay, so so I'm making this tag along with you. So please bear with me, my. Uh, dimension sometimes I may have to recalculate it and adjust it so but uh, yeah of course we are going to make a wonderful beautiful tag with this so let's see now yes this is perfect and I will sh shortly come to know like why did I leave this extra space here because we are going to do something cool on those two other sides. Okay. So it will be like this. Okay. So let's see. So now we have Stock and we are going to make uh, four pieces of four by one foot and six by one foot. So let's see, six by one foot. Here we can make 
टू पीसेस फोर बाय वन फोर Let me check before that if it is right. Okay, this is good. Okay. Uh, likewise, you can make two more pieces. This is kind of extra part I am going to do. If you are not comfortable, so comfortable doing it, or if you don't want to do it, just skip this part. But whoever those who are interested in. Um, making slip to insert uh, photograph instead of you know sticking on the mat uh, let's see how we can make it so this is how it is going to be on our black uh, background so what I'm going to do I'm going to measure around 3 fourth from this side and 3 fourth from this side and connect it very lightly and make a slit here don't go all the way from one edge to another just leave maybe um, you know, at least little space on both sides okay and similarly we are doing it on opposite side So it's on the both sides. Okay, so this way we'll have these two slits to insert our picture and it will go like this on our photo mat. And if you want to go ahead and do for other through other three um, white cardstock pieces, uh, we'll we'll do it for the three as well and we'll get back okay so just to show you this photo so will go like this i don't have exact uh, size but it will be like this okay um, now we are going to put it on our base mat and we have to make sure that we are putting glue only on the on the edges like a thin especially over here on the corners these two corners a very thin line okay and then we can put glue in the center so i'll show you so just very thin line basement okay just make sure that these two sides are not sealed So likewise you can put remaining three photo mats on the other sides okay and we'll get back. 
Okay, so now we have these two photo mat ready uh, and we have this empty black space over here. Uh, but as I said, I will tell you what to do with this. So one it will go on this side and we will leave some space here and other will go on this side. And this is a nice area to put another photo so that way we will be able that we will be able to put around five pictures on this side okay, okay now next step I'm going to cut a little bit slant over here let's see some gun die cuts and I will show you what I am going to do. So I have all of this my handmade paper flowers that I will be using. I always like to use my own flowers. I like to make flowers, beautiful flowers and I will be using it over here. So let's see what we are going to do. So this mat is going to, to be on the right side of our tag. So I am just going to put, so you have to be very careful because we are only going to stick it on one side of the on this side all our elements so this needs to be very careful okay so this is going to be like this and then our flower so I'm just putting it on one side okay. then for this beautiful floral piece I'm just going to stick it on one side again So this is I have till now uh, and I'm planning to add some more elements to it but before that let's see how it looks once I insert in this over here okay it looks good and then uh, I'm planning to add some like you know small tiny cheese, cheese cloth here just to give some shabby effect. Uh, small bow with the thread I am going to add it over here somewhere or let me see I have these flowers as well I will put these flowers first and let's see if I can put this um, bow as well
sure that I am not attaching to this portion. Okay, and these two flowers. else I can put okay um, yeah let's see I have this flat flat base bed so I can just put one over here and so I made all these beautiful small um, birds I, as I said I love making flowers so whenever I get some free time I just start making the small small birds, I love them and I can use them in my projects. And also if you are not aware, I have flower videos on my YouTube channel. So if you want to make your own flowers and use them in your uh, projects, you can follow those videos. Okay, so I am planning to use these purple birds here. And maybe two is enough. Just try to put it over here. Okay. Maybe I cut this portion. This is how one side ready. It's looking so beautiful and can use. So if you want to put nice picture here, this will also give good effect and on back side also you can put nice picture. Okay. So this is how our first mat is ready, photo mat. Now let's go and make the second portion. Now for this left side, uh, I'm planning to use this um, nice leaf part. Like a, I die cut this leaf and desire like a Sizzix die cut. And let's see. Um, so again, now since we are going to put this mat from left side, everything we are going to stick it is on the right, the left side of this mat. So. Okay, little 
towards left side before that I wanted to put sorry before that I wanted to put this sleeve this flower okay. you can do same arrangement of uh, same cluster arrangement as you want or you can use, uh, use different type of arrangement as well I am almost going with the same arrangement Okay, so again I got this another piece of cheesecloth. And let me see if I can put this. This looks good so far. Again, all these leaf dry cuts I got from Sizzix dies. They have really beautiful die cut set. Oh, let me find out if I can find a pack for this. And I am going to put it like this. And since this is like kind of continuation. So now I have already put this white leafy, uh, leafy die cuts and I will be putting this tiny flowers in here. Just want to 
make sure that it is getting right behind this pattern. Okay. and put it this This is how it looks. Okay, now I'm going to add this uh, like small trim over here just to, you know, this was looking plain, so I just thought I'll add something over here. So let's see, it's here like this. Let me cut it over here. This is how our first side, like front one side is ready. It's looking so beautiful with all these flower cluster, clusters and there is one flower from the paper pad. So it's giving nice get up. Okay. Now we will go ahead and start with our back side. So this is our one side ready. Now we are going to work on back side. But I thought like putting anything or directly on the back side will be difficult because we have all elements added on this side. I just thought like I will cut one more piece of uh, this tag from black car stock and start decorating this and then I can just stick it on this side. Okay, so it is exactly of same size as this. So let's get started. So we have this uh, black cardstock and one more thing is I bought this uh, window frames from Hobby Lobby and these are Maybelline Street window street, uh, window uh, wooden window uh, wooden windows and I am using one of them and I just did uh, put acrylic color on this. If you have gesso you can use gesso as well. Okay, so I'll keep this aside and let's see. So uh, again, I have I'm going to cut uh, this white cardstock and also I have leftover piece from this um, paper pad, like uh, Blue Fun Studios paper pad. So let's get started. Mm -hmm. For white cardstock, uh, we are going to use 7 inches. Okay. 7 inches 
and on this side five inches oh sorry five and a half inches and I'm going to score at five inches that is like half inches from this side this uh, since this is 5 by 7 we will be cutting 6 by uh, 3 fourth and 4 by 3 fourth okay, so I will be 4 by 3 fourth Okay, so before I'm, uh, I'm going to put this um, that uh, uh, designer paper pad, I'm going to use this magnet. I have this leftover magnet. I have just one piece of it, so I'll be using this magnet. And if you have this, I don't know what exactly it is called. It is a like you, we use for screws. Uh, if you have this kind of thing or any metal piece, you can use that as well. So that way you can. You know, avoid using two magnets at a time so and it works perfectly fine so what I'm going to do I'm just going to put this dot in the center and put this magnet here okay and then I'm going to put my um, paper So I have a magnet over here. Okay. Then I am going to stick this over here. I am going to apply glue here. Okay, so we have attached this flag. So uh, let's check the dimensions. This is 5 by 7. Now we are going to cut a uh, black cardstock into. Into 7. Uh, so this is 5, 5 by 7. So 6 by 1 fourth. Sorry, six by three fourth. And on this side, uh, four by three fourth. Uh, 
some here and one more thing I'm going to cut one more uh, piece of white cardstock because for this mat we kept uh, white as a background page so I want to go like keep it standard like this thing. So I will just I need to stick this. Okay so I will just go with the same format. So for that uh, I am going to put a uh, white cardstock here and again I'm, if you want to just keep it same, uh, same color that's fine like um, black or whatever color you are using. And since this was 4 by 3 fourth and 6 by 3 fourth, I'm going to cut this into 4 and a half. And this is going to be 6 and a half. So I'm going to put this glue here. If you want to use a uh, score tape, you can use score tape or double sided tape. As always, I like to use my tacky glue. So okay, this is here and then I'm going to put my white white page like a uh, white cardstock page Ready. Now we are going to work on this flap. So let's see. I'm going to cut this car, uh, black cardstock into six and half. And on this side, five inches. score at four and half so on this side it is going to be half inches okay. and I'm going to cut white cardstock into six by one fourth As I did for sorry for my previous um, the front side, if you want to make uh, you know uh, small slits on opposite corners to insert pictures, you can do that. But for this uh, photo mat, I will not be doing this. I'm just going with this uh, plain paper. Now we are going to do this. Yes. 
So this since this is uh, four and a half, let me see. Four and a half. So it will come here. Um, yeah, we can do one thing. Maybe just I'll eyeball it and place it here like this. Just want to make sure that it has. Because we can put one more picture in the center, so we just want to make sure that we will be having enough space here. Yeah, if we put it over here, okay, this looks good. Maybe over here. If you want, maybe we can do marking. So. inches going to put our glue or score tape here actually we are going to need two of these white pieces I did not realize that going to make one more white uh, cardstock to go here. Okay, let me cut this. Oh, this is almost perfect size we have. That's great. So. Flap ready like this. So, total you can put one, two, three, four, four pictures. In this and now we want to put something on this side. So, let's see what I have. Okay, so I have this left over piece from one of my project. So, I'll be putting it over here. So, let's see how much we have. This is four and Three fourth by I will put it over here seven. So let's see. I think I have almost same size here. Four and three fourth. That's great. By seven.
I can keep these two, two pieces in stack. I can use it for some other tag. You can also put a solid cardstock page over here if you don't have any leftover from your mini uh, designer paper pad. window I'm planning to stain on the side let's see let me get my stain okay so I got this Victorian velvet uh, distress ink and I'm just going to stain like put it on the sides just to give some rustic look to our window have this cheese cloth what I am planning to do is let's see okay let me cut this piece of it So I want to show it as a curtain. Like this. So let's see, I'll start putting it with the glue, maybe. workout fine This window will go on this side so I'm going to tuck it over here
we can put our window So in this, uh, on this side, this, uh, the, for, the first page or like a front side is just going to be as a decoration. But that's fine, we have enough space to put our pictures inside. So it should be perfect. Okay. Now we are going to put our beautiful flowers. Okay, so I am planning to use this lace here, mm, like this. It will come to here. So let's cut it over here. And then I am going to cut in half. Let's start putting our flowers and greenery.
the other side also ready and we are going to put this uh, mat on the other side but before that don't forget that we had to put this magnet but on this side uh, just to mark it uh, I'm just going to mark it over here and it's going to be here and then Just going to put it over here on the back side. Oops. Like this. Mm -hmm. So this is how our tank ready. So this are so we can put one, two, three, four pictures on this side and one here and back and then this side and back side. So total it this tag will hold eight pictures that's wonderful okay let me see okay and i just want to show that i similarly made uh, other tag wild back let me get that this is the one just have one single area to put picture and on back side there is one more picture and here you can put another picture and if you want you can put one more picture here so and I do have a tutorial for this tag on my youtube channel so this is how I made two tags so most probably I will be making two more so that I can assemble them in the form of like you know album so I hope you enjoyed this video if you have any questions or if you know any or uh, if you prefer to have some more videos on my flower making or anything please let me know or put comment in description box and I will see you next time bye bye